moves the Papu Nao, firebrand Malwa Moitra's speech to the center. I begin by quoting the author Jonathan Swift. As the wildest writer has his readers, so the greatest liar has his believers. Firebrand Trinamool Congress TMCMP Malwa Moitra is famously known for her oratory zesty speeches and sharp replies, especially during debates in Lok Sabha and her videos often go viral on social media. Her recent one, which has been widely shared is the one where she can be seen asking, who is the Papu now? She started by quoting Jonathan Swift saying the wildest writer has his readers, so the greatest liar has his believers, and it often happens, that if a lie be believed only for an hour, it has done its work, and there is no farther occasion for it. Falsehood flies and the truth comes limping after it. Spoke of the falsehood over India's growth story under PM Modi. She said, this government has us believe every February that this country's economy is going great guns, we are the fastest growing most efficient global player, everyone is getting employment, cylinders, electricity and pakka houses. This falsehood flies for 8 to 10 months and the truth comes out limping after it. Referring to the latest data released by the National Statistical Office NSO, Moitra claimed that while the country's industrial output shrunk by 4% in October to a 26-month low, the manufacturing sector, which is still the biggest generator of jobs, contracted by 5.6%. 17 of the industry sectors that make up the Index of Industrial Production IIP have recorded negative growth. Forex reserves have fallen by $72 billion in under a year, she said. She accused the center of spreading falsehood over India's growth story under PM Modi and said demonetization failed to achieve its targets as cash is still king and phasing out of fake currency is still a distant dream. Mauva Moitra accused the center of spreading falsehood about India's growth and appealed to Finance Minister Nirmala Sitharaman to take control of the economy, which she said is going downhill. Took a swipe at BJP over its defeat in Himachal Pradesh. She took a dig at the BJP over its defeat in Himachal Pradesh. Who is the Papu now? She asked, adding that the ruling party's president could not hold on to his home state. The government, while replying to a question, told the House last Friday that almost 2 lakh people renounced their Indian citizenship in the first 10 months of 2022, Mahua Moitra said. This exodus of 2022 takes the total number of Indians renouncing Indian citizenship under this government in the past nine years since 2014 to over 12.5 lakh people. Is this a sign of a healthy economic environment or a healthy tax environment in the country? She asked, adding, who is the Papu now? Atmosphere of terror with the sword of the enforcement directorate. Mahua Moitra TMC member alleged that there is an atmosphere of terror in the country with the sword of the enforcement directorate hanging over businessmen and high net worth individuals as well as leaders of opposition parties. The ruling party buys lawmakers for hundreds of crores of rupees and yet members of the opposition represent 95% of the lawmakers under investigation by the enforcement directorate, Moitra alleged. Who is Mahua Moitra? Mahua Moitra, born 12 October 1974, is an Indian politician and a member of parliament in the 17th Lok Sabha from Krishnanagar, West Bengal. Moitra served as a member of the West Bengal Legislative Assembly representing Karimpur from 2016 to 2019 and has served as the General Secretary and National Spokesperson of the AITC for the past few years. She was an investment banker before entering politics. She contested and won the seat in the 2019 Indian general election as an All India Trinamool Congress AITC, party candidate. I begin by quoting the author Jonathan Swift. As the wildest writer has his readers, so the greatest liar has his believers. And it often happens that if a lie be believed for only one hour, it has done its work. Falsehood flies, and truth comes limping after it. This government has us believe every February that this country's economy is going great guns. We are the fastest growing, most efficient global player. Everyone is getting employment, we're getting gas cylinders, we're getting electricity, we're getting pakka houses. This falsehood flies for about 8 to 10 months, and then the truth comes limping after it. And now we are in December, 
and the government says it needs another 3.26 lakh crores of additional funds over and above the budget estimate. The government and the ruling party coined the term Papu. You use it to denigrate, to signify extreme in incompetence. Let me use the next few minutes to point out what the data, the statistics tell us as to who the actual Papu really is. NSO numbers were out yesterday. Industrial output has shrunk by 4% in October to a 26-month low. The manufacturing sector contracted 5.6%. Manufacturing is still the biggest generator of jobs. 17 of the industry sectors that make up the index of industrial production have recorded negative growth rates. Forex reserves have fallen by $72 billion in under a year. The Honourable Finance Minister yesterday during question hour mentioned how apparently 50% of FII inflows into emerging markets are coming into India. Wonderful! But her colleague, the Minister of State for External Affairs, just last Friday, in response to a question in this very house, stated that almost 2 lakh people, 1 lakh 83,741 people, renounced their Indian citizenship in the first 10 months of 2022. This exodus in 2022 takes the total number of Indians renouncing Indian citizenship under this government in the past nine years since 2014 to over 12 and a half lakh people. This year has already seen more people giving up Indian citizenship than any single given year. High net worth individuals are willing to pay up to a million dollars to get citizenship of Portugal, of St. Kitts, of Greece. Is this the sign of a healthy economic environment? of a healthy tax environment? Who's the Papu now?